Hey, what's happening everybody? Brian the Darkness coming at you. And hey, guess what? It's gonna be a new little thing that I wanted to try out here. And it's actually gonna be my first deck. Yeah, actually, um, I actually had one deck back in the day uh, when I very, very first started playing, but we all had those. You either had the Yugi deck or you had the Kaiba deck. Well, actually, uh, after a while of a bit of a hiatus uh, going through and back in 2009, we'll go ahead and go to a blast from the past right now, my first deck was actually Zombies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. So uh, this is not going to be your most competitive sense. This is how I ran the deck exactly back in 2009. So let's get on into it. We are going to be going with three Zombie Master. Zombie Master was the main guy uh, for combos up with the deck to go ahead and start reviving stuff from either player's graveyard, which is really, really good, and it combos off with the Zombie World. We also are gonna be going with three Pyramid Turtle. This is your main searcher of the deck. This one will allow you to go ahead and get any zombie that you want that has a 2,000 or less defense. Then you will have three Goblin Zombie. Uh, Goblin Zombie was awesome too, because when it uh, dealt out for the damage, you can mill out one card from your opponent, which is really good, and it's easily searchable as well. Then we're going to be going with three Poison Mummy. Why? Well, because back then, honestly, we didn't have links. We didn't have uh, so much to uh, regards towards synchroing or even pendulums for that matter. So your best bet was either to do a slow burn damage or to basically just hit them with just beat sticks for days. So this will burn out for your opponent for 500 life points each. And yeah, you can guarantee that people would actually attack these things just because, because mainly this deck would revolve around going stuff in defense. We have one Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. This is basically your Miller for the deck, which is awesome. And we have one Vampire Lady, partnered up with one Vampire Lord. These guys will basically target out for spell, monster, or trap, and then your opponent will basically get rid of the one that it was chosen. We have one Shooting Joji. Uh, this one basically would remove out from the play, and then you can also select one of the remove from play uh, zombies and bring it back into the deck, which is awesome. We have two Ryogokis. This is your main beat stick of the deck. And uh, the hits for a spellcaster or a warrior type monster uh, destroy it right there uh, at the end phase. Uh, I'm sorry, at the end of the damage step. We have one Patrician of Darkness and one Spirit Reaper. These guys would uh, perform out for a lockdown. If you try and go ahead and target uh, for Patrician of Darkness, it would go ahead and target into the Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper being in defense cannot be destroyed by battle. Unless, of course, it got hit by a uh, card effect, of course, it would uh, die. But it also had the uh, effect that basically if it dealt damage towards your opponent, they select one card at random from the hand and discard it. We want to have uh, one red eyes zombie dragon. This guy's amazing. Basically, you can go ahead and take your opponent's stuff and bring it over to your side of the field. One Dark Dark Spirit. Dark Dark Spirit would basically be your nuke. Really good back in the day, especially everybody was nuking each other. One to spare from the dark. Uh, good majority of the time, you wouldn't really be able to bring this thing out unless you hardcore uh, summon it. But nonetheless, if this actually uh, got sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard uh, by your opponent's card effect, you can special summon it to your side of the field. That's it for the monsters. Now let's go on towards the spells. And you guys know which spell I'm going to start off with. Let's go in with three zombie worlds. This will target for your opponent's field as well your field and their graveyard plus yours. And so basically the main function of the deck would basically to take your opponent's stuff from their graveyard because it would also be considered zombies. This would literally be the most effective card and the most hated card in the game. In any generation, honestly, now. We have two Book of Life. Uh, basically, now that everything is a zombie, now you can go ahead and take their stuff. One Call of the Mummy basically will allow you to go ahead and special summon a zombie out free of charge. One Monster Reborn, because actually back then, Monster Reborn was banned. And then yet, in 2009 slash 2010, it just got off the ban list. One Lightning Vortex, it's a nuke. One tribute to the doomed, yeah, but hey, it's still good. Two MST, because it's MST, that was our spot removal at the time. You didn't have any of your big old nukes like your Lightning Storm, as well as your Twin Twister, so this is what you were dealt with. One sort of revealing light, because it was annoying, and it was actually fun to last out throughout those three turns because you didn't have a response. 
A majority of the time. One mirror force, because it's mirror force. This was a very heavy flavored trap card back in the day. One widespread ruin, same thing, spot removal. One Regeki break, because at the time Regeki was banned, so we didn't have Regeki. So we use Regeki break in this place. Then we have one Robin Zombie for a mill effect. One Call of the Haunted, because we can have revival. One Divine Breath, which is actually still really good. For some reason, it's still really good. And then we have one Titan Mask, because Titan Mask is also good in and of itself. So that's it for the uh, deck, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Feel free to comment down below your guys' first decks if you guys have any. And, uh, you know, actually for a little bit of a twist, uh, Mr. Collector. What? You're next. Goody goody. So that's it for the deck profile. Hope you guys like that. Like and subscribe, comment down below, hit the post notification bell, Discord, Patreon, we got them. And also check out for your uh, discounts on towards Pal Manga Mats as well. See you guys all the next time.